So I have the M4 iPad Pro and I'll be showing you how to connect this iPad to an external monitor like this one so that you can have a desktop setup with your iPad. So this is going to require a couple of accessories depending on how far you want to take this. One accessory you'll need is a HDMI to Type-C connector. And that's of course for people who have the older monitors that don't have a Thunderbolt port. Cause if you do, just connect a Type-C cable from the iPad to the monitor. But I know most people have HDMI monitors and that's why you need an adapter. Now, I have this cable here with one end of this cable connected to the monitor and I'm gonna connect it to the iPad using this adapter. So I'll connect the cable to the adapter and then the adapter into the iPad. So once you connect it, it's gonna take a couple of moments. And then you can see the screen has a projection from the iPad. So this is called extended display. And the display is basically an extension of the iPad. This is not screen mirroring. If you want screen mirroring, you can change that in the settings. So in the settings, if you go to the settings and then go to display and brightness, you should see under displays, we now have two displays. We have the ASUS monitor, which is that monitor up there. And then you have the built-in retina display. If you go to arrangement, if you prefer mirroring, then you can mirror, turn that on, and that's going to screen mirror whatever is on the iPad screen. But that's not what we want. We want to have a display right there, an extended display. And if you have an extended display, then it means you can also go ahead and connect, connect another accessory. And that's why I love this Anchor uh, adapter because it allows me to also plug in this wireless receiver for my keyboard and my mouse. And now I have a full desktop setup with my iPad. Now this is very crucial, this part here. The iPad is below the monitor. And that means if I want to move my mouse from the iPad to the monitor, I'll just go all the way up. And if I want to move the mouse pointer from the monitor to the iPad, I'll move all the way down. Now, if for instance, I wanted to place my iPad to the side, of the monitor, then I'll just drag that and place it there. But since my iPad is below my monitor, I'll just leave it like that. Now, if I can exit out of here, now you can see I have the mouse pointer here on the iPad. You can see it moving there. And if I move it all the way up, it's gonna appear at the bottom here in the monitor. And that's why that is an extended display. Now, having connected them, I can click on any app. For instance, if I want this app, I can use it here in the monitor. If I prefer to use it on the iPad, I'll just click on the three dots up here and click on move to iPad. And that app is gonna get moved to the iPad. It's really that simple. So that's basically how to connect your iPad to an external monitor and use a desktop setup. Thanks for watching. Comments and questions down below and good luck.